In this tutorial, you will learn how to connect one internet cable to your Apple TV and PlayStation 4. As you can see, I have my PlayStation 4 here, and I have an Apple TV. And I have an internet cable, and I want to share this between these two devices. And the way you get an internet cable here is by either getting someone to install a cable between your router or modem to where your TV is, and have the port on the wall, or you can use adapters like a internet to coaxial adapter, which is called Mocha, or a internet to power line adapter, which is called EOP. So either method will work. As long as you get an internet cable here, we can then share it between the two devices. So how do we do that? Well, what we use is something called a network switch. This is a network switch here. This is made by TP-Link, but lots of different companies make them. These have been around for about 20, 30 years. This has been around for a while. So on the back, we've got a power plug and we've got five internet ports. So we can take our internet cable and plug it into one of the ports and then plug two more cables in for these two more devices and that will share the connection between two. When it comes to Apple TV devices, you need to be aware that not all models have an internet port and if it doesn't have an internet port, you can't add one. So in this case, this one does. This so has an internet port here, but some models don't, so that's something to be aware of. So now we know what we need to use. Let's connect everything together and I'll show you how it all works. So now we have everything plugged in. We have the power cable for the network switch plugged into the power board. We have the red internet cable plugged into the PlayStation, which you can't really see because the lip on it. There it is there, you can see the red. And then another red cable plugged into the Apple TV. So a lot of people ask me, does it matter what color you use? No, colors doesn't matter. But what does matter is the speed of the cable. So this is a gigabit switch, and this is the slowest one you should be using these days. Uh, these have been around for 20 years now, so don't use anything slower. And the cables you should be using with this one is Cat5e or newer. Again, Cat5e have been around for 20 years as well. So newer cables are fine, but Cat5e is the slowest cable you should be using with this type of switch. So we've got the PlayStation plugged in to the power and the power cable here, and then we have the HDMI cable here plugged into the HDMI port on the TV. The power cable for the Apple TV is plugged into the power board, and the HDMI cable for the Apple TV is plugged into the HDMI port on the TV. So as you can see on the network switch, we've got a solid power light, which is good, a flashy light on port one, a flashy light on port two, and a flashy light on port five. As you can see, we're using port 5 for the network connection. This could be using an Ethernet cable in your wall, or it could be using a coaxial adapter or a power line adapter. And these ones are going to the Apple TV and then go to the PlayStation. As you can see, we've got two spare ports for something else. Maybe another game console or a computer or another streaming device if you want something different besides the Apple TV. So now let's turn everything on. And let's go to the settings and make sure we have Wi-Fi disabled and make sure we're using internet only. With Wi-Fi and devices that don't move, you should avoid using it. So devices that do move, like your phone or your tablet or your laptop, have more bandwidth to work than devices like Apple TVs or PlayStations, which use up a lot of bandwidth when they're watching movies, especially in 4K, or when you're playing games online. So you want to keep these stuff off the Wi-Fi, so leave them so make sure the devices that are left over will work as best as they can. So now let's go over to the TV and we'll make sure we've got those settings correct. So now I have my PlayStation turned on. We press the up button on the controller, then press the right button until we get all the way to settings. Press the, in, the X button. And now we go to the networks options. And now we select set up internet connection. We select use a LAN cable and then click on easy. And now we're going to wait for the test to run. Oh, look at that. That was quick. So let's do a network test. And then all that looks like it's working correctly. There we go. If that looks slow to you, I live in Australia. So. That explains the poor connection, but that's pretty good uh, for my house. So that's fine for me. 
So now let's get the Apple TV controller, press the TV button, which is that one there. And now we get the Apple TV's home screen. So now we want to go to settings, select network, and it's already sees the internet cable. So click on internet, and it looks like everything is working correctly. It says internet, and it's using the correct IP addresses, and everything looks like it's good. Looks like there's no option to turn off Wi-Fi, or there's no option to say Wi-Fi is actually on. So it looks like that's all good. So both those devices are now running through the network switch. So that's working successfully. If you want to learn more, you can contact me on PayPal and submit a tutorial request. If you want to watch another video, click on the screen now. And thanks for watching.